What's up, Hacksters? I recently talked to you about a new box of stuff. Cool stuff that we got from Crowd Supply. It was called Synths and Screens because there were a few different displays that we got that you can program, as well as a very simple synthesizer, and I had a lot of fun exploring those. Well, one of them especially caught my attention. It is called the Inkplate 6, and it is an e-paper screen that I believe is rescued from a Kindle. I managed to create a little generative art creator in Arduino code. So the idea came from this other project by someone called David Chiaco, I think, and uh, it generates these alchemical circles that are really gorgeous. It gives me a great inspirational starting point for exploring on my own. So I go through everything that you have to do in order to install this stuff. I did get this guide from the eRadionica folks. However, unfortunately, some of these uh, URLs are a little bit obscure and difficult to type. But the good news for you is that that's all up now on the Crowd Supply website for the Inkplate 6, which you can find from the tutorial itself. Just go to uh, the Bill of Materials, and your link is right there. And at the bottom, it links to all the resources. Uh, the hardware design files, as well as the Arduino library. You can just straight up download that with no problem. You don't have to go to Dropbox or anything. So what this does is creates circles and rectangles and squares <laughs> on uh, the e-paper screen that go together in kind of a cool way sometimes. Uh, the thing with e-paper is that if you find a design that you really like, all you have to do is switch it off, and then it will remain. Anything that you have on there just freezes. So if I switch it on again, what it'll do is generate a new pattern every 20 seconds. So this one's kind of boring, but you kind of get the idea. And what I'd really like to do with this next is turn it into a clock, so that basically every one minute it will generate a new design as well as drawing some clock hands on top of it. And the cool thing about the ESP32 is that you can actually pull the time from a public server. Ooh, I like that one. Maybe I'll save that. Boom. And I can put this in like a picture frame or whatever uh, and have it just sit on my desk and have it pull the date and time from an NTP server, uh, which I've found a guide for doing that. And if I end up doing it, then I will definitely update the tutorial. So for now, this is up on Hackster as Inkplate Arcane Circle Generator. You can find the link to the original project I was inspired by, as well as all the steps for installing whatever you need to get the Inkplate up and running. The actual code that I created at the bottom here, as well as a bunch of little examples that it's come up with on its own. So good! Um, infinite art at your finger fingertips. And you don't have to be a coding genius to do this. I'm pretty much a novice, and I managed to make this from their really comprehensive, awesome Arduino tutorial that's included in the library for Inkplate 6. So go forth and hack. Yeah.